time, my friends, we are on. Now, we haven't had music up to now because... We, we haven't started. We haven't started yet. Oh. I'm still waiting. Oh. <laughs> and you have no one in yours yet, so just chill. Oh, okay. Mine says check and connection. It should eventually connect. Let's try again. My service here is terrible, terrible. Uh, I was seeing earlier someone else on Instagram was freezing. You have a viewer on your side if you want to say hello. Hi, viewer, whoever you are. We're trying to get Rildy's phone to, ca to, to catch up. If not, you can uh, use Alyssa's phone to sign into your Instagram. We'll be starting momentarily with or without his. Give me about a minute and we'll see what's happening. For now, though, you should have some buckets or some weights, or maybe I know someone's gonna have a kettlebell. Um, hilarious is that we do this for a living and I have no weights at home. I've gotta come up with buckets of water and um, everyone else out there seems to own weights. So, welcome to our workout. Today's a little bit different. There's no jumping, hella freaking Luya. And it's a little bit longer. We're gonna go 45 minutes just because it's an easier set. Now. We've realized that at this earlier time, there are still kids screaming in their pools. Ah, uh, but I can't make them stop. So, we've got some music for your listening pleasure, and of course, you have us. All right, Logan, why don't you do the warm-up today? I'm not feeling that. I don't really want to do the warm-up. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys know, um, for those of you that may be just tuning in now or just for the sake of catching it I'm on both of those video streams, you see what we got, a wide assortment of weights. If you have dumbbells, kettlebells, oh, beautiful, <laughs> of our weights. Um, but, you know, we have whatever the heck you can find in your house, right? Buckets full of water. We'll be dumping them, filling them, doing our thing. Um, we got jugs, whatever kind of containers, fill them up with something. Uh, <laughs> But uh, hope you have something, and if not, you know, you do it like this, you do it with your hands and your body. So, um, if you have any injuries, guys, modify, do you, do what you gotta do, but have a great time. Our big goal is to make you laugh while getting through this workout. Absolutely. Now, my calories burned, a little laughing. She's gonna do the warm up because I hate warm ups. It's just like not my thing. I don't ever do them myself. Not that that's good okay. advice. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go. moving on. Here we go. Have a seat and then squeeze your butt. Drop and squeeze. Press your heels into the ground. Now, how far should you go? It's really up to you, right? If you're going to our beat, you're probably not getting the ass to the floor unless you are hella fast. So, let's just go so-so, squeeze forward. Four more, and we're gonna add a knee hip circle. Three, two, you're like, what the hell is a knee hip circle? I will show you now. Down, ooh, you knew. <laughs> Down. I've taken enough of your classes over the course of my life, right? <laughs> he has been watching me teach since he was about seven. And he would have to come with me in the morning before I went, before he went to school. They would have to watch me teach while he ate his breakfast with his sister. And then I'd get them off to school. So, since seven, he's been watching this show. Four, three, two, and one. Let's stop the legs, turn the toes out wide. I want you to just come down. Your heels should stay down. I just want you to walk side to side. We're getting your ankles ready, your knees, your hips. Maybe a little bit of back. Oh, that should feel good, right? My legs are so sore all the time lately. Wine, wine, oh my wine, gosh. wine, wine. Well, she did ask, right? Does I it asked feel good? to mulch today. I'm like, can you put some mulch out? No, I gotta work out. I'm like, dude, mulch You see mulch any mulch in the workout. video? Is it that necessary? <laughs> put your hands out, step back into a plank. All righty, so in a plank, I'd like your shoulders over your hands, your belly button in as far as you can, touch your knees to the floor, come back. Knees to the floor, come back. Not loving this, uh, this is not a good plank outfit. All right, down and back. Eight more, eight, seven. Now don't like go super duper hard down and you're gonna have like pain in your kneecaps. Four, three, two. Take your right foot and meet your right hand. All righty, now take the arm up and then bring the elbow to the floor, look the other way. Try to touch. Maybe you're not able to get there. Totally fine. Four. Three. You know what we didn't do? We didn't hit our timer. Two. Oh, yeah. No problem. That's cool. And one. Stay right here. Give me some roll out of your wrist. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Anyone else text way too much? Guilty. Reverse. Oh. You know the only time Rildy's really not texting? When his girlfriend is here. <laughs> Hand down. Step back. Other side. Reach up. And down. Let's do eight of those. Eight. Open your chest, 
no rush. Inner thighs, hips, hamstrings. I wasn't counting. Two more. Uno mas. Hold. Rotation. Counting has never been her strong suit, really. No, really. <laughs> she loses count on every exercise ever. That's why we have a timer. We count the minute down. <laughs> In my, I did a video and that was one of the complaints. She doesn't know how to count. <laughs> hands down, step back. Let's walk our hands all the way back. Oh, that extra Ooh. sound, that's free. Reach up, roll down, but we're not gonna walk out. Just come back up, reach up. All right, we're gonna start with some legs here, guys. So I think we're ready. If you Let's can go do ahead it. And hit my thingy. All right, we're gonna start with our heavy weight. So for me, it's this bucket. Now I'm thinking before this is over, <laughs> There is going to be a viral video moment where we are going to wear this water. But step nice and wide. Try to keep your back super duper straight. If you have dumbbells, of course, that's better than a bucket, right? You hold dumbbells where you're really holding that bucket. It's called a goblet squat. Down, squeeze your butt. We're going here for 90 seconds. Shoulders are back. And you're taking your time, right? This is not about speed. Think about pushing up. Slow on the way down slower on the way back up. This is why today's class is a little bit longer, because we're not working the same intensity as a hit class, and I want to have more time under stress, or under tension, I guess. You don't have to talk today. I know. <laughs> I have. You don't want to do the warm-up? He's not engaging? Oh. She just hasn't stopped talking, and I keep thinking of things to say, and then she just keeps on talking, so I'm like, I guess I'll talk later. <laughs> I was actually just thinking. I have a bucket. I know. Whoa, wouldn't that be funny? That would be the viral moment if I just boom. No, no, it. no, it was my idea. You have about 30 seconds left here. Woohoo! Such good news. Ooh. I'm starting to feel this. Absolutely. She's like, oh, this is low intensity today. Hopefully your legs are starting to work. Just a few more. She'll introduce what's next. Right now. All right, my friends, take your right foot back. If you can't lift it, leave it right here. Pretend you're putting the bucket down, and then lift. Okay, here's what's important, and I'm not there, so I can't help you. I really need you to focus on your form now. Watch his back. Your back needs to stay straight. I'll show you a common mistake. The rounding. Try to avoid that. Now, really don't do it, but I will lift the back leg. Only because he'll kick me, and I'll fall. <laughs> And as you're doing this, the reason you have that leg back is so that you can really focus on putting all that weight into your front foot, engaging through that left side in the front, through the hamstrings and glutes, all the way through activating and thrusting forward. That He's back so was just a stabilizer. He's not just a cute face. Keep it moving. Oh my God, that's good. Oh my goodness. If I need a family, I would tag them. Birth control. <laughs> really? Well, Switch legs. <laughs> you can complain, but I can't. Well, I didn't say birth control, that was mean. I'm not a fan of children, there's a reason I don't have one. <laughs> oh god. There's lots of reasons you don't have one. <laughs> That's true. I gotta be honest, I don't like screaming kids. I don't think mine, you guys were never screamers. No. Really, like, even when he's a boy, was the calmest boy you've ever met. There was yeah. no G.I. Joe action fighting going on. <laughs> For his first birthday, we gave him a cake. Like for him to go crazy on. And he, here's what really did. Keep going. You know, some kids would be like, boom, full on kick. He was like, I don't want to touch it. I was like, really? Touch the kick. I don't want to touch it. He put, we have a picture. One finger like this. <laughs> He's always been a special boy. Ten more seconds. Oh, in the best way possible. <laughs> but I've never been a fan of any kind of children, to be honest. Nice ones. You're going to keep going. Annoying ones. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, my friends. Put down your heavy weight. And we're gonna grab Boom. something a little bit lighter. So if you have a lighter set of dumbbells, go for it. Now here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna come down and up, biceps curls. Elbows nice and tight. Woo! So we may have to do these workouts later, when perhaps they're asleep or feeding. <laughs> <laughs> Belly button in. Now hopefully you got a set of heavier weights, right? I, I wanted to order weights. I went on Amazon today. And it's like $500. <laughs> Because I guess everybody's out buying weights right now. So we're going to have to make do with this. We're going to do alternating arm curls in 20 seconds. Same muscle. Now notice the elbows, right? They're not going anywhere. My elbows are stuck to my side. Some people like to go with momentum. That's not a bicep exercise. All right, 
right about now, it should be uncomfortable. Joshua! Hey, it's like <laughs> Joshi in New York? What is up, yeah. Joshua? Hey, get down here, be in our video. But quarantine first. <laughs> Joshi lives in New York. All right, alternate. I miss Joshi. Right. Oh, you keep on the phone. My other child is over here using a viper. <laughs> Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder and you're thinking these bicep weights are just not enough, you can add a little bit by curling, pressing, and then bringing it back in. And that nice forward press is going to be a little bit heavier with whatever it is that you're holding. And if you're like, absolutely not, my biceps are on fire, well, that's okay. Are you your biceps keep going. on fire with that? Oh my gosh. Did you like, did you like <laughs> Of all the bottles, simply light. <laughs> Let's make very clear that he's not holding heavy weights. <laughs> that's funny, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> uh, in 20 seconds, we're gonna go lateral raise. You will feel that more. Beautiful. Yes, I am. Thank you for your sure. oh. <laughs> That moment's coming, my friends. In three, <laughs> two, last one. Let's take it out to so laterals. I'm gonna keep those same weights. You got a choice. Up, hold, this is gonna end Ooh, I'm gonna back over. <laughs> I'm holding that. it by these very loose tops. We started the workout by saying that they don't stay on very well, and now she's gonna hold it by the top. I'm committed, damn it! I'm committed, it's and I can hold. refill the water. Let's be honest. With you. We have a pool. Now, if this is heavy, of course, if you're using real dumbbells, for example, you, you can go, go side to side one at a time. This is pretty damn heavy. Gotta be honest. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling good. Well, woo! Have we mentioned all these top heavy? Uh, every. I mean, every single class, gonna talk about my skinny legs. No, I just said top heavy. I top heavy, right? Like uh. Now we're gonna pulse it at the top. So if you have real heavy weights, you may not be able to do this, but maybe you can give it a go. You are just gonna go straight raises in front, okay? All right, my friends, hold it right here. Let's go. Now pulse. Woo! Look, that little muscle sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, before doing this workout, we had a big pizza, oh my and then God. we had some milkshakes. It and was, it's been uh, it was so a delicious. Though. It was <laughs> wait. It started with Dunkin' Donuts, Boston Cream Donuts. Oh, yeah. Then it morphed into Anthony's Fire Cold Pizza. Maybe maybe these companies will pay us. Cold Fire. Whatever, Anthony's, and it had ricotta cheese and meatballs. Ooh. Yum. Then it was Shake Shack shakes because we're trying to keep you know um, industry going. So for those of you that have written to me like, hey, where the heck are you abs on these live videos? <laughs> That's where they're at. People have said that. Not many people. The close people to me. That's mean. That's true. That's borderline bullying. It's true. Please it's don't true. talk about my abs unless you're going to say something I, nice. Holy moly. I very much see uh, how this quarantine 15 is not really translating onto the scale, but it's translating a little onto the like. Quarantine 15. <laughs> Maybe you did more mulching. Yeah. Five, four. We're laying down, guys. Three, two. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Now I'm going to take the big bucket because I'm not afraid. <laughs> and I'm going to place this on my hips. Ugh. Boom. Extend your right leg and then up and down. <laughs> so the weight is in my left heel and it's pushing into the ground. I'm trying oh. to keep still talking. Well it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you want it is now. <laughs> Try to keep there. your hips straight across. <laughs> there goes error number one, right? What did you do? Thrust too hard? <laughs> All right, so anyhow, hips are straight across, and if this is too hard, you can place the leg down. But in 15 seconds, we're gonna switch. We really need weights. If anyone out there is like, hey, we have extra weights, we're gonna ship them to you, I'll give you our home we'll, address. We'll pay, right? I will pay you to ship me a set of dumbbells, two sets, because if not, Realty will take them. All right, go ahead and swap legs. Oh, I can't believe I'm sitting in water. <laughs> I mean, what happens is your body's on a slant, right? So after you open up... It didn't happen to me. Well, whatever. <laughs> Did you do it again? No, no. I was, I was trying to prevent it. Just, uh... okay. From here, we're getting rid of our weight. We're going to do some bicycles. But first, that butt cheek, squeezing to lift you as high as you can. So the nice thing about not using music is when I teach at least, I tend to fall into the rhythm. And sometimes that can limit the full extension of my movement. So here, I just want you to go to your own pace without stopping, if possible. Is it my backyard pretty? Uh, you can have actually said that. It is pretty. Yeah, right. Ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we really 
really are like the same person teaching. Uh, it's really me teaching. I didn't get anything from you. Oh, let's go ahead and put that dumbbell bucket down, whatever the heck you got in your hands. <laughs> bicycles, and let's go into it. One minute. Now, in the bicycles, the goal is not necessarily just to go full speed. The goal is to really exaggerate the twist, bring the elbow to the knee, the thigh. If you can get it there, make contact, fantastic. And if for whatever reason you can't, feel free to just take it a little bit smaller, but really focusing on that twist. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, no. <laughs> nice gust of wind. <laughs> Feels like all of it just hit me. <laughs> That's okay, laughing is a good core exercise too. Anyone ever just cracked up for a few minutes? Your abs are like on fire, you can't breathe. It's kind of like exercise. Did you yeah, the bucket hit me in the leg. I think the tube hit me on the arm. We got seven seconds here. Keep going. Finish this one up. We're going to hold on to this core work a little bit longer. In three, in two, and everybody turn into a little banana. Hold your shape. We got that hollow body position. So right here, legs. The goal is fully extended off the floor. It feels like a little banana. <laughs> I feel like a little banana. So legs are extended up off the floor, straight out. Arms are by the ears and extending straight back behind you. If that's too much, you can bring them down towards the legs. And all throughout. You can throughout, also bring your hands under your butt, right? Also. If it's breaking your back, come inside the hands under the butt. Goal is to pull that belly button into the spine, down to the floor, eliminating that little, little arch that tries to form between your lower back and the floor. Should be shaking right now. 20 seconds to go. I am relaxing like I'm in a hammock, enjoying the quarantine sunshine. <laughs> I'm pretty <Ooh>. an idiot. <laughs> Eight. But I can't take all this. Seven. Credit. According to his dad, the only thing I contributed was that he says, um, a lot. <laughs> um, three. Um, two. And one, let's go for it right here. Let's take it to that seated inner thigh work. You're gonna bring right leg up off the floor. Heel is towards your left foot, inside of the foot towards the sky, towards the ceiling. And you're just lifting straight up, right? Yep. This one seems easy. It will get you in just a moment. Yeah. And I'll tell you why, because I think guys especially don't do a whole lot of inner thigh work. I don't know why y'all don't do it, but groin pulls are a result <laughs> of weak inner thighs. Right about now, you're already starting to feel it. And I'm guessing all you're really loading up there is a shoe. So. Some of you might have heavier shoes than others, you know? It's kind of like little dumbbells on your feet. <laughs> I bought these shoes actually because they're really cushioned well for running. And I've always been wearing like, I don't know, whatever. Other shoes that just aren't so supportive. And these kind of just feel like little dumbbells, little ankle weights, you know? So I have an excuse to give up is early. Is this a bulk up your legs? Yeah, right? <laughs> Hold here. Push out with your heels. Boom. Out. Kick it. Like you're trying to kick your phone over with your heels. Ugh, like get out of my face, you idiot. Now listen, by the way, if you can't see us very well because you're on your little phone, you know that if you go to my Facebook, in case you're not on my Facebook right now, you can actually watch this on an iPad or a Mac or whatever the heck it is you use. You're like, you can mirror it to your whole TV and ba-bam, we can be like life-size. Has oh. Apple really taken over the world so much that the options are Macs and iPads? I mean, in I still my, use In PC. my world, yes. I'm all about my Dell or HP or I'm whatever I'm all it about is. the Mac. I Three, think it's hard to tell the difference. Two, what? I can tell the difference. Between HP Did and I Dell. Did I mention I raised an idiot? <laughs> Between Dell and HP, can you tell the difference if you want to No, I meant logo? Mac. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we did switch sides in case you missed that <laughs> uniform exchange. Now, I know what you're thinking. This workout has gotten very easy, but don't you worry. The next exercise, it'll get you. <sighs> the breathing nice, though, at least. It's a little better than the high intensity from last night. If you're used to doing crazy cardio, this feels a little nicer today. It's a little different. Just different ways to keep your body moving through being stuck at home or whatever it is that's going on in your world. Probably <sighs> not ours. We did a tour of restaurants today. Because Rildy has a big truck, so I call it a truck picnic. So we get the whole family in the bed of the truck when we, when we park. <laughs> As we're going down 95, and now push out. And we have the food back there, and it's awesome. And it was my idea. Absolutely. And it finally grew on me again. So nice. <laughs> now in 30 seconds, we're gonna take this movement back to the upper body. Not this movement, but the work. And I'm gonna give you some progressions, some modifications, but the goal is gonna be to get yourself working pretty hard again in 15. Boom. Boom. <sighs> she loves when I say that. Ah. Ah. 10 seconds to Ooh. go. Ah. Yeah. All my words. All my sounds, I guess. They're not even really words. <laughs> Five. 
four. We got plank position in two, in one. Oh my goodness, shake those thighs out. That burns me. All righty. Nice into that high plank. We're going straight down into a push up. Of course, we know modifications. You can take the knees to the floor if you need to. You can take the hands a little bit wider if it helps. And now for those of you out there that are like, I've been doing your push-up challenge forever, or I've been working out forever, or I'm just a badass, exactly, you heard it. We're gonna go straight into a clap push-up. We you is too many. Me. I am not. <laughs> we as in you, awesome people, and me. So right in here, little claps, boom. If you wanna make it extra hard, two claps. <laughs> if you wanna make it a little harder, oh my behind the back. Okay, that's ridiculous. Boom. Ah. Ooh, just keep it going. You're still motion after this. <laughs> and only 18 seconds to go though. Ooh. Coming up, we're gonna keep the presses coming. You're gonna lay down on the left side of your body in three, in two. It's the same way right here. Lay it on your left side. Bottom hand wraps around your body, top arm to the floor. That top arm presses down. Just lifting the body, there. Elbows tucked in close, and you're working your triceps, the back of the arm, to push the upper body high, and release. I think those people heard us talking about that too. Yeah, might have. <laughs> yeah, your legs can be bent or straight. His are straight, mine are bent, it's irrelevant. As you press, the goal here is to really fully extend the arm. So if you have to modify it, it might be a little small, you might want to bend those knees, bring your weight a little closer, make it easier to assist that press. But if you can, you're going all the way, lock it out just about, and release it back down. Eight seconds, we go to the other side. And I'm breathing heavy right now. How about you? Yes. Four, three, two, and let's flip it around. Lay it on your right side now. That left hand comes to the floor, and your right bottom arm wraps around the body. Straight back into your press. Now pretty soon, we'll be getting to about the halfway point of this class. We will take a short recovery before hitting all those fun movements one more time through. 30 seconds, you're halfway through the side. Tricep is starting to burn, because all that upper body weight is getting pressed into the floor through small, relatively speaking, muscles on the back of that arm. It's pretty heavy to lift your body up. You got 15 seconds to go, and we're back to weights. You got a choice. You can hold your kettlebell, your dumbbells, I or you see can you grab hold something the big different. Bucket. Oh my god, this is bad news. Five seconds. Finish those presses. Three. We lay down flat on our backs. Whatever weights you got, we're going for a lap pullover. So watch where we're going. Bucket straight over the body. We're gonna take it back to the floor. This is just all kinds of dangerous. So <laughs> now here, a little harder than your legs. There's no way to control. Oh, it's dripping already. <laughs> Got me in the face. On the bright side, it really requires serious control. Right? You can't even focus on your face. Really, the germaphobe, by the way. Water dripping on from the bottom of a bucket is hilarious. Right. Oh. Every time, uh, <laughs> every time, damn it, every time I take Whoa. a bath, it drips, and then as it runs down the back of the bucket, it drips right out of my face. 18 seconds or so left. Alright, I'm going to leave that one behind me for just a moment. You got another five seconds though. In four, a little break on the way, in three, two, one, place that bucket down. And you got yourself a moment to recover. At the end of the recovery, we're gonna do all of that one more time. But now you know exactly what's coming up next, which means you know what ways you're using, you know how it's gonna feel. If you're using water like us, and you're like, you're like I probably could have done more, go ahead and grab something heavier. I may use, I'm gonna put more water in my bucket, and I may use that for the curls and stuff. So, always a way to modify. Maybe next time, pick up the barbecue, right? Whatever you have. You can't pick up like your friends or your kids. Right, we have thought about you know? them lifting someone. If your kids are like making lots of noise, just pick them up. Come here. I'm overhead pressing you, throw them in the air. Actually, that's maybe a bad idea. I, I as a kid would have hated that. It would have been like a punishment, but like maybe regular kids like it. Oh, oh. oh God. Ripping again. Oh, what the hell? Ha, making a mess. 
Let's do this. You have four. We go back to our goblet squats together in three, in two. Bring that bucket up high. Notice how I put my weight into hers and did not refill. <laughs> I did notice actually. I have not gained the quarantine 15. No, of course. No, no, no. Thank you. I'm on a quarantine bloat diet. <laughs> when grandma brings home bacon and donuts, I'm like, what the? She had three left. I'm like, throw those away. So instead of throwing it away, she ate another one. <laughs> She's not concerned about the 15. Uh, or anybody else's. <sighs> this makes a difference. Different carry and more weight. One more. So it's a 90 second set right here, but you are more than halfway through it. And through this second set of exercises, it's the last time you're gonna see each one of them today. So once we're done with these, you're done with squats. 30 seconds away. If you wanna make it harder, go deeper or move a little bit faster. And of course our pace is not necessary, right? If you're a little taller, a little shorter, your weights are heavier, lighter, you might be moving at a different speed, more or less space to cover. 10 seconds, come on. Ah. Four, three, two, and whatever you're holding, go ahead and hold it up. Right leg comes back, and it's either leg in the air, toes to the floor, your choice. What's not your choice is keeping your body tall. Shoulders pulled back together and chest high, neutral through the spine. Nice. It so can't all be perfect. If you find that you're rounding your shoulders on the way down, just make sure that you really pull them back and then keep them pulled back all the way through. Nice. There it is. The wind is pushing me over. Yeah. I'm like a little feather. And that okay. front leg is gonna be slightly bent through the knee, right? So if you're fully extended, it's a lot harder to keep it straight. You want to keep a nice soft bend as you're dropping and thrusting up. Core stays tight. 10 seconds and we switch. Now, if you're engaging all the right muscles, it makes it a lot more of a full body workout rather than just that left leg, right? Three, two, one. Go ahead and switch sides. Left leg comes back now. Weight in the right. Same movement. And if you ever need to modify, you can change the way you're holding those dumbbells. My bucket's getting a little heavier as I work out because I'm sweating into it. <laughs> oh my god, did anybody catch that? It's getting heavier because of that driplet of sweat. Oh my gosh. Oh. I have to live with this. <laughs> oh man, this is too funny. Story. Keep going. Oh, Remember God. yesterday how we talked about my West Virginia thing a few days ago? What? Oh my this God, I know where we're going with this. Do you remember this one? I, I think know. so. Really used to think that the alcohol yeah. swab before you get a shot was to numb the skin. And he was like, push. He's like, they don't even give you time to numb the area. Who gives, <laughs> like, why not? That's Edison? not a n <laughs> Oh, poor kid, all those years. He's we're like, moving into a bicep guys, curl. Wait. Are you ready? Go ahead and grab those two dumbbells if you need, whatever you got. Go straight back into that curl. If you want to keep it heavy, you can modify it. So the real story behind that, my sister was getting a tattoo. Oh yeah, we're sitting there, and the guy keeps wiping it. Before he starts, after he starts, he just keeps wiping all like the blood off. And I'm like, dude, you gotta wait a few seconds. Like, what the hell's going on? I mean, there's no way it's already numb. I've like gotten anesthetic shots and stuff in the past. And, <laughs> you got uh, an anesthetic shot? Oh, right, right. Like okay, dentists, like yeah. Whatever. And uh, well, they all looked at me like I'm a total idiot. <laughs> And, um, so well, we came to realize he thought all those years at the doctor's office. All my life. They were numbing the arm. <laughs> oh, that's so Not funny. sure if that made me more scared or less scared of needles at the time. <laughs> I've never been a fan of doctors. They freak me out. It's like, oh, I, just, I don't know. They give me the creeps. Doctors, hospitals. Not the people, but Not like any the doctors that are here watching it. Offices, not doctor people. Look, he's going to stick his foot into his mouth many Three. times today. <laughs> oh. Right here, we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. We're going into those lateral raises. Take the arms out. No, we have another minute of alternating. Oh, we do. We alternate. We alternate. Boom. Let's do it. And if you want to add that forward press, feel free to add the punch. Punch. Almost like you're running in slow motion without moving your legs. Breach. Anybody remember that show? Ah, no, I don't know. I've heard that. 
But why? Million Dollar Man. Oh, I never. Because he would run in slow movie? motion. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. You should hear all my sound effects when I'm trying million to identify man. songs. Million man. Really old show. It was Million Dollar Man that came to Bionic Woman. Not Million Dollar Baby. Million Dollar Baby. Million Dollar Man was like kind of like Game of Genie. Okay. Oh, I've seen that one. I agree with Genie. She was cute back in the day. Yeah, she's like a hundred. <laughs> Five? We got a lot of reasons next, though. Oh, whoa. Okay. And we go straight out to the sides. So I know that we're like here to work out and obviously burn a little calories, gain a little muscle, do our thing, sweat out the day, but at the same time, hopefully we just provide you like with entertainment, like instead of just watching the television, it's kind of like we're an active participatory television, right? Trying to make fitness fun, which exactly. is what we do when we teach classes as well. Well, I guess we are teaching classes, but I'm in in person. Right about now, your arms, shoulders specifically, maybe your biceps because they're holding the weight out there, should be tired. If you're not feeling it, if you're like, no, I'm not, then your weight's too light, right? No, there's a chance you just didn't have a choice other than to go a little too light, in which case you're gonna feel the next one. Because honestly, this next pulse in 15 seconds, even without weights, you can pretty much feel it. And those of you that have used twos or threes in whatever different classes, maybe on a bike, a cycle, something that you've done before, bar, bar all that kind of stuff, you know what that feels like. Okay, hold Three, it. two, one, hold it up, and let's pulse it. Now important here that your core stays tight and that your body's not really moving around. You're not using that momentum to get that movement. You're holding pretty steady. And all you're doing is pumping up and down. Oh, it burns. At least you get to lay down on the floor and move to lower body after this. Man, these kids' ears are no joke. Whoa. And mine with the more awkward grip. Is it really so it really comes out and goes, this grip is more awkward. You can have it. Ha. 25 seconds, guys. It's really because she had smaller hands. I figured, like, smaller little... We have the same size hands. My hands are actually. like that. No, they really are. They are. They have baby hands. Baby hands, baby mouth, baby feet. <laughs> baby ankles. Uh, Ten. Nine. <sighs> Try to keep it real. We didn't want to raise him too confident. <laughs> it didn't work. Four. Uh, three. Oh, my gosh. Two. And one. Put it down. Let's come to our mats. <laughs> Lay it down, weights back onto the hips. And we are gonna take the right leg up into the air, left foot planted down. Planted? <laughs> I was gonna say pressing. I mean, it happens planted. to me. Planted. Planted is a new word, it means pressing and planted. Just planted. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, you should keep the word around. It should be plus, like planted and press it. Plus? I mean, plant, press. You don't press after you get in this car. Alright, so it's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> What's like bless? What? Bless and bless is only one letter different. Yeah, but bless is a real word. Huh. <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna spill more water. <laughs> Switch uh, sides. Left <laughs> leg up. Known as the giggling trainers. <clears throat> All right, guys, we switch legs. Right foot presses into the floor. <laughs> What's funny is like they don't see our faces like hacking up back. <laughs> oh, they just see the water jiggling. <laughs> Forty seconds, my friend. Friends and not friends, all are welcome. That's true. <laughs> Right. And while we're being friendly, I love all your kids. They're lovely people. <laughs> and doctors. You love doctors as well. No, doctors are cool. I do like them. 20 seconds and we sit up. In fact, on the doctor topic, we might as well share a big thank you to the doctors, right? Yeah, you, guys like just only one. That. you guys are like actually working and saving lives right now. So you are appreciated if you're out there. Thanks for tuning in with us. All right, sit up. Oh no, bicycle. Yep, we're going right here. But it's my turn now. Bicycles! All right, so a bicycle. You want to extend your legs as close to the ground as you can. You want to lift your shoulders and twist as much as you can. Then, if you can touch the elbow to the inner thigh, score. If not, it's cool. If it's just too much, go ahead and just bend your knees, right? Here's an option. A lot easier, but a bicycle is one of the best 
abdominal exercises. Now, if you can add to that, look at the back elbow. Right, so take a whole big twist. 30 seconds. You can do punches, lady. I have my 12 year old off to the side. She loves fitness. Not. 10 seconds. I'm hoping it'll grow on her. Four. Three. Here comes that hollow hold. Two. And one. Arms by your ears. Legs extended. Now, if it's too hard, lift your legs higher. If you've got it and you can hold this, go ahead and lower the legs. You're just going to sit here. Now, it may need to take some breaks. You can also put your head down the entire time. It's easier with your head down. So if you want the challenge, pick it up. You gotta be breathing, okay? Don't hold your breath. Keep your chin off of your chest. That's way. Oh. See if you can slow your breathing down and just relax your mind right now. Knowing that we're gonna sit up right after this one. Send your legs. Now, if your legs and arms are extended away from each other, it should be an almost impossible minute for most people, right? I know if you train your core all the time, it might not feel so bad, but it should feel really, really tough. If that's where you are, you're in the right place. Three, two, Ugh. and pull it back, roll up. All right, so this time we're gonna make it a little bit different. Ooh. Let's go ahead and do circles. Circle the leg back. Sitting up real tall, belly tight. So this line, your bleh, inner thigh line, connects into your deep transverse abdominals. So, while it's not a core exercise per se, it is active in the core. So, using this whole fascial line, reverse the circle. Ankle bone is up. Should be starting to feel it right about now, all through here. I've been feeling it for 30 seconds. Excellent. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder because harder is always better, as I say. Usually that has a sexual connotation, but it's awkward right now. Yeah, it's weird, with a 12-year-old and a son. But still, it's my thing. Three, two, one, here we go, all the way up. All the way down. Oh. Get your hands off the floor, okay? I can't, it's too hard to surface for my tailbone. Oh, that's right, here's a very sensitive <laughs> tailbone. TMI. Oh, we hope seconds. you laugh at this, no, yeah. <laughs> That is like a killer, man. Yeah, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, bro? Christina. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> uh, five. Four. Which one is like almost oh, impossible? Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Three. Two. Two. One. And switch. Oh, okay. Go ahead. With little backward circles. This is funny, like when we teach, although we're still silly and like, you know, do our little act, it's uh, we're still different than like what we're at at home. And like here, we're like bringing you to our house where like we're real comfortable and like, this is just what it's like all day long. Oh here. my gosh, family dinners at my house. If you are faint of heart, you would not make it at our table. The jokes make this seem very tame. Yeah. Reverse the circle. We wouldn't even go into anything else. I know. It's a, it's a fun house. My poor mom, she's like 700. She's <laughs> cringing all the time. <laughs> all right, she's not 700, but she's, she's up there. There's a seven in the number. Might be a 97, 107. <laughs> Coming all the way up. Oh, up and down. Here we go. But she cooks every day we come home to, to donuts. We're being real nice. It's not every day anymore. She's got. She's like made friends lately. <laughs> That's true. She has a whole group of friends. It's really interfering in our dinner life. Odds are that she'll post this Facebook video later. They'll see. And she doesn't clean the house as much as she mm -hmm. used to. <laughs> she's found a social life in her. <laughs> Old age. But now with Corona, <laughs> that's right. It has diminished. <laughs> that's we true. We have her back. <laughs> Twenty seconds. She guys. even goes grocery shopping at the senior hour. <laughs> <laughs> we put in our order. <laughs> Ten uh, seconds. And then we got push-ups. Oh man. Two is better than zero. Three and two. And remember, if you've got to do a push-up and you can't get down here, go ahead and lean against the wall, and it's a little bit easier. All right. You can also do them like this. Kidding. Like in the air. Come on. Yeah, that was a joke. Oh, that was a bad joke. Remember, you can put your knees down. If it comes to it, you can always just hold a plank. 
And as you're going through that push up, I just always like to say it because there's always someone in my classes or just in general out there that likes to modify it a little bit differently just as they're working up the strength. These are my favorite. Yeah, exactly. I see so many like head to the floors and there's really almost nothing involved here. But it's a common like miss, not misconception, but mistake. Mistake. Right. <laughs> Misconception is that that's a push up. <laughs> So for the next 10 seconds, you're keeping your body nice and straight. Abs are engaged so that you're dropping in one straight line no matter where you are. And we've got triceps in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Lay on your side, press your hand into the floor. Palm of the hand, fingers pressed down. Wrap one hand around your side and just come up and down. Elbows straight up. Come all the way to the floor. Hey, Corona, you're exhaling into my face. <laughs> and if this becomes really tough, and I know we offer lots of modifications, but it's always good to have those choices. That bottom arm is kind of resting down on the floor. If you need the assistance, you can always use that bottom tricep and elbow to help lift your body up and kind of give a little bit of assistance to that hand if you need it. If you don't need it, you want to make it harder, make sure you're not making contact with that bottom arm to the floor. I love to talk. Is tomorrow night breaks. hit? Yeah. 7 p.m. hit, like just like favorite. last night. No, no one likes it, but it's so good for you. Everyone's favorite once it's done. Right, that's true. And switch sides, roll it over. Boom. Why do I say that so much? I go through, I go through phases with certain words and like, I just say it all day long. Not that there are many moments when you can say boom. Do you ever stop talking? She told me she wants me to talk more, and now I talk too much. Good job, Jen. Halfway, guys, 30 seconds. If you want to make it harder, don't let that bottom shoulder ever get back to the floor. Keep your body lifted, and keep the weight in the tricep all throughout. Ten seconds, guys. And then last pullover. And then would you believe you've gotten to 45 minutes with us? You're already at 37 minutes. That's crazy. Three, two, and one. All right, guys. So this is the end. Let's not end the class by spilling water on No, me. for safety, I'm going with two weights. So you're coming all the way over your head. And here's a common misconception or mistake. People like to bend their elbows here, right? That's a skull crusher, and it's a great exercise, but we've already done triceps with those side laying presses. Right now, I'm focusing on your lats. Your lats is this long muscle that runs along the side of your back. All right, so it's important that we try to get from every muscle when we do these classes, which we've tried to do. I'm sure if you scan the database, you might find something we left out, but I think we're pretty good today. Any good work? Actually, have a push, a pull, some rotation, Lots of hip hinging. Realize, who cares? Keep going. In 10 seconds, my friends will lead us to a cool down because he is known as Mr. Rubber Band Man. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, last one, and put the weights down. Let's cool it down. Let's start right here because we're finishing the workout here in the seated position. Just take those legs, extend them out. I'll dump my bucket out. Go, go, go. I was gonna do it, but I thought better of it. That's no, why no. I, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. oh No. That was not planned. That was your cool down. All right. Well, shoes are coming off. Stretch. Take a seat on your mat. Reach forward. Woo. Oh my gosh. Good times, good times. Oh, and from that nice forward position, I'll be posting that clip later, individually. But release it back. What's going on? Take the legs wide, and you're gonna take the opposite arm across the body, outside the leg, and just pull your body down. And release back to center. Other hand reaches the other direction, outside. Did you start it? <laughs> Uh, four, three, two, and release it. Let's go ahead and bring the feet in. 
take the hands back into that crab, a reverse tabletop, whatever you want to call it, position. And we're going to take the left hand up to the sky and then back behind us as we press the hips up overhead. And then taking it off during the workout is also good. And release it back down to the floor. Just a quick opening stretch. Right hand comes up and back. Follow it with the eyes. And release back to center. Flip those hands forward however feels best. Slowly roll up. Arms come to the sky. It's cold. And we're going to drop one arm back behind us. <laughs> Gently pulling it back, and if you're feeling good, allow yourself to pull across. And release. Other hand comes back. That is about what it's like around here. Yeah. <laughs> and release it back up. Bring the arms down. Shrug those shoulders out. And we'll just about let you get out of here, my friends. That Tomorrow is it. night, 7 p.m. Bam! Let's do it. Tomorrow's ooh, high ooh, intensity, ah. so it's going to be cardio. It's going to be sweaty again. And uh, post your sweaty selfies. Do your thing. Tag us in it. Let oh, me know yeah. what you thought. Tag us. Share our videos. Let's it. get us Insta famous. Thanks for being here. <laughs>